So there's a methodology called k nearest neighbor in big data analysis, where you find uh, you can find a person who looks similar to another person who's the most similar on a number of traits. Uh, but I kind of renamed this search a uh, doppelganger search because I think that's a cooler name for it uh, and also accurate. So you basically uh, look, uh, you know, in a huge data set, you take a person and say, who's the person who li looks most similar to that person? So the one way you might use this is if Amazon's looking for what books to recommend, uh, they may find your book reading doppelganger. So the, across the whole universe of Amazon customers, uh, who's the person who tends to buy books like you have bought? And then what books has that person recently read and enjoyed uh, that you haven't read and enjoyed? And that's how they, that's sort of, that's uh, how, th how they recommend uh, books to you. And uh, this can be used in a lot of other areas. Uh, people are just starting to use this in health, uh, where you can say across the entire universe of patients who has symptoms very similar to your symptoms and what has worked for those uh, people, your health doppelgangers. Uh, so it's very po powerful methodology and it gets more powerful the more data you have. Because the more data you have, the more similar, the more likely you're gonna find someone in that data set who's really, really similar to you. Some of the big data analysis are things we've always kind of done. That's kind of what doctors try to do. They try to say, who are you similar to uh, of all the patients I've seen, uh, which ones remind me of your case and what worked for them. Uh, but they've been doing this on a, a small number uh, of patients, namely the ones they've seen, uh, whereas the potential for big data is you can do it over the entire universe of patients and get people who are really much, much more similar to you. Really zoom in on the tiny subset of people who have a very similar path to you. Instead of saying uh, that you have the condition depression, uh, which reminds uh, which might remind a doctor of, you know, 100 depressed patients that he's seen uh, over the last couple of years, you can say maybe that you have a particular type of depression. Uh, so you maybe sleep all the time, whereas other depressed patients don't sleep all the time, and you feel guilty, whereas other depressed patients don't feel guilty, uh, and then really find uh, these people who are really, really similar, whose depression is, is, has taken a, 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 a much more similar path to yours than, than have other people's depressions. Thank you.